on horse land. Riding fast and free is almost winning style. Once she changes that, the team risks losing the most important competition of the season. Angora, we're worried about you. You've been sleeping all day. Don't you think you should get up and, you know, do something? No. You're just going to lie around all day and accomplish nothing? My brain is accomplishing plenty. I'm trying to come up with an idea for a better mouse trap. I thought you were the mouse trap. Teeny, that's not the point. I am a cat who is being true to herself. But what if you don't act the way people think cats should act? Who cares? So it's okay that I don't like to roll around in the mud like people think all pigs do? It's what makes you, you. And Shep's nosy, pushy attitude is what makes him, him. Oh, please. I'm not pushy. Come on, Tina. Let's run around the arena until we collapse from exhaustion. Let's do it. Come on. Uh, Shep? Actually, you are a little pushy. Running till exhaustion sounds fun, but my inner piglet is thinking nap. Oh, who am I kidding? The shade feels great. <laughs> Our only chance of beating Stanhope Academy this week is Alma. No problem. Nobody rides the course as well as Alma. As long as she doesn't get too wild and hit too many jumps. Well, that was only one. Two. Don't worry, Button. We'll get the rest. Rapido! You've got to hand it to her. She never backs down. It's her style. Her dad taught her to ride like that from the time she was a little girl. We just have to hope she doesn't miss too many jumps in the competition. Now that's fast. That was muy bueno, chica. Fun to watch, too. Must be a blast to ride like that. Nothing's as much fun as riding, except maybe reading. One day, maybe we'll be reading about our victory in the history of Horseland. <laughs> <laughs> what are you cowpokes high-fiving and laughing about? Yeah, didn't our supposed star rider just knock over three of the rails? Talia Bentley would never miss that many. If Talia were here, she'd be shaking in her boots. I don't think so. That's Talia in the glasses. She's been scouting you for the last hour, and I don't see much shaking. So that's the great Talia Bentley. I just checked out their top rider. This girl rides like she's completely out of control. She's obviously never had any proper training. No training? Out of control? I'll show you who's in control. Right. Like you're doing now? Who do you think you are? I'm a champion, unlike you. I don't ride wild. A champion is always in control. My dad taught me how to ride. He knows everything about riding there is to know. Oh, really? Well, my dad was on the Olympic show jumping team. My coaches have won a total of five U.S. championships between them. So, what exactly does your dad do? He's the foreman here at Horseland. <laughs> Enough said. Don't pay any attention to her, Alma. But she's right. Who am I kidding? I'll never be a champion riding the way I do. My dad was never an Olympic rider. Who cares? Your dad knows you, and he's taught you to be the best instinctive rider I've ever seen. I care. Instinct has taken me as far as it can. It's time for me to change the way I ride and the way I control my emotions. Or the only place I'll ever be able to win a jumping event is right here against you guys. That was kind of rude. Kind of? You're doing French braids? Yep. I'm gonna give Pepper and me matching hairstyles. Won't we be the cutest? But Chili and I were going to do matching French braids. Well, that's too bad, because we're already doing it. You'll have to think of something else. I hate you. I hate you more. I hate you most. That's fine with me. You're out of my social circle. Circle? You don't have a social circle. You have a social spot, and I'm it. No one else likes you. They will when I'm not with you. And where exactly are you going to find someone to even talk to? Hey, girls. Hi, Hi Bailey. Bailey.
And Sarah. Hi, Zoe. What's going on? Oh, nothing. Except my sister is really stuck up, selfish, and completely insufferable. So you two should ignore the rude girl with the bad lip gloss and start hanging out with me. I know, I know. You never thought you could be so lucky, but it's true. You know what's even luckier? You two can hang out with me. I'll even help you do whatever you're doing. Not as much as I will. Okay, sure. You can go empty these. Great, Great too. So, where do you want them dumped? The compost bin? You remember, that place where we put the horse manure. Oh, of course, the compost bin. Where else would the horse manure? Ew! Okay, Alma, let's see if you can shave another two seconds off your time. Molly, I wasn't kidding before. Talia was right. If I want to be a champion, I have to get myself under control. I can't depend on speed to win. From now on, I'm taking it one jump at a time. Slow and easy. No emotion, no mistakes. Why do you care so much about what that ice queen, Talia, says anyway? She's had the best coaches money can buy. You've had the best coach love can buy. You've been trained by your dad. But her dad was an Olympic champion, and that's what I am going to be someday even if it means changing the way I ride. Otherwise, I'll spend my whole life losing the big ones. Now, if you'll excuse me, I don't need you to time me anymore. You're welcome to watch, but please, keep your comments to yourself. Big deal, you cleared one jump. Since you don't want my help, you can find somebody else to hang out with. I'm out of here. Fine, go. Hi, Molly. Do you have anything you need dumped in the compost pile? No, not at the moment. So can I hang out with you? Zoe and I are never speaking to each other again, and I just have to find a friend before she does. I'll even help you do chores. Please! Okay, okay. Stop begging. It's embarrassing. I have a feeling that this day is going to get worse before it gets better. Oh, good. Kit for equestrians. Teeny, there's something strange in the air today. Hey, Alma, what are you doing? I'm reading, Zoe. What's the problem? Oh, no problem at all. I was just thinking maybe I could hang out with you. Hang out with me? I can help you get ready for the competition this weekend. Well, sure, Zoe. I'd love your help. Really? I mean, great! Where do we start? Well, I've been reading about how important proper etiquette is for the polished rider. And I think that's right up your alley, Zoe. It is! I love etiquette! It's strange Chloe volunteered to work. Well, I saw Alma and Molly get in a fight, and then Alma rode off with Zoe. Zoe and Chloe being friendly, and worse yet, doing chores. Where will the madness end? I don't know, but I think there's a big battle of brewing. And I want front row seat. Wow, what a morning. All this weirdness makes me hungry. Waking up makes you hungry. But it has been quite a day so far. Molly, here comes Alma. Maybe you two can make up. Now, when you accept an award of any kind, you must always remember to smile and don't forget to thank the little people. The little people? That was Zoe talking, not Alma. Alma, we're going to lunch. Would you like to come? Hmm, I think I'm booked. Zoe, what's our schedule look like? Victory visualization exercises, followed by a cuticle massage, three run-throughs on the course, and then we're going to review the videotapes of last year's competition. Come, Zoe. Now I've seen everything. Actually, you haven't. Okay, I'm ready for my chores. Uh, actually, we're headed for lunch now. Perfect, I packed mine just in case. You want to eat with us? Love to. 
Okay, it's visualization time. Breathe in. Now, picture yourself at the starting line. You've got a sharp little pair of tan riding pants on with a crisp white crew shirt. Zoe, it's the writing we want to visualize, not my writing outfit. Oh, right. But let's just say you look very sharp. My legs are starting to cramp. Fight through it, Alma. All the top athletes visualize their success before it happens. I, myself, always visualize a shopping trip before I head for the mall. It really works. I always get what I want, plus it's like shopping twice. Bueno, bueno, but can we maybe move it along a little faster? Sure, okay, close your eyes. Now, you and Button blaze off faster than ever. That's not how I'm riding tomorrow. You're not? No, I'm riding like Talia, slowly, cleanly, and totally under control. You do know that that's not your style, right? Zoe, the whole point of all this is that I'm changing my style. Oh, right. My old style isn't going to cut it. Okay, if you say so. Why not? I'm changing too. Look, I even have a callus. Zoe, that's a leaf. Oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Zoe, you're all right. Thanks for helping me with this. Sure, maybe after the competition tomorrow, we can do some other stuff together. Yeah. If I win first prize, we could go shopping or something. And I'll show you how to do the latest braids for Button's hair. Sure, Button will like that. Anyway, back to visualizing the competition. As you slowly ride towards the first jump. We all know how important it is to do well against Stanhope Academy tomorrow. The only way we're going to win is if every one of you does your very best. My good friend Alma is going to lead us to the biggest victory in Horseland's history. Please, my good friend Molly and I will be doing just as much leading, thank you. Remember, we're all on the same team. Alma, you'll be anchoring the lineup. I think you can beat their top rider, Talia. She rides cleanly, but she's so careful that her times are quite slow. If you really let it rip, you can take her with ease. That's the old Alma you're talking about. The new Alma is going to beat Talia at her own game. I'm going to ride the cleanest round anyone's ever seen. Alma, are you really serious about changing your style now? Absolutamente. For sure. But Alma, this is nuts. You're the best natural rider I've ever seen. Not anymore. From now on, she's an unnatural rider. Oh, that sounds promising. Okay, everybody. Let's just get to work. Alma, you start. All right, Button. In control. Poised and in control. Alma, isn't it obvious? You're not cut out for this type of riding. We have two more visualizations and a cuticle makeover planned before the competition. Oh, I'm sure that will solve everything. Sorry, but everyone will just have to get used to the new me. Anybody that can't deal with that, well, I don't need them. Hey, people change. If Alma is really going to be different, then maybe we just need to get used to it and support her. Now you're talking, the new Alma is much more interesting than the old one. She and I are even going shopping together. <laughs> Where are you going, cowpokes are us? <laughs> cowpokes are us. Good one, Chloe. I gotta tell you, I can't believe the goofy things we've been doing. Like slopping pigs, emptying buckets of manure, hanging out with them? Really, Alma is the only one with any hope, now that she's trying to change. Thank goodness Alma has us now. Can you imagine her being stuck with you for the rest of her life? Come on, Chloe, let's get out of here. So, Alma's one of them now? Button, we have to win tomorrow. But if what I'm doing is so right, why doesn't it feel that way? Wow, this 
Stanhope Academy is really nice, huh? Yeah, and look, there's Talia over there. Her horse is nice. They've got a good team. Speaking of teams... Okay, one more time. P-O-I-S-E. Pretty ones invariably succeed at everything. Hi, Talia. Air kisses. Well, if it isn't the cowgirl, knocked any jumps over yet today? You! Alma, why don't you tell Talia about the new you? New you? Well, nobody can fault you for wanting to change. Oh, she has. Her whole demeanor, including the way she rides. She's not like the others at Horseland anymore. She's one of us now. Well, welcome to the club. Actually, you were the one who made me realize that I had to change my riding style or I'd never be a champion. So if I beat you today, you only have yourself to blame. <laughs> oh, don't worry about that. With that horse and the way you've been trained, or should I say haven't been trained, there's no chance of you beating me. But it's good to see you're on the right track, unlike the rest of the riffraff at Horseland. Those riffraff are my friends. Alma, breathe in, breathe out. You're regressing. Quick, close your eyes and visualize yourself. Visualize this. The old Alma's back, and she's going to ride faster and freer than she ever has before. I'm going to beat Talia today, and it won't be because I'm like any of you. And by the way, Talia, I looked up your father on the internet. He was an alternate on the Olympic team. He never even competed, and he didn't win a thing. At least he went. What did your father ever do? He trained me well. You're too wild to ever beat me. You'll choke, you hear? You'll choke! You guys always have been and always will be my best friends. I'm going to ride that course today quicker and looser than I ever have before. Oh, and guys, lo siento. I'm sorry I acted like such a jerk. No apology necessary. We're just glad to have you back. Yeah, one more lunch with Chloe, and I was going to have to go shopping with her. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the competition is about to begin. We need to get in the line at the arena. Alma? There's just you and Talia left to go. If you can beat her, we'll win. No problem, Will. I'm going to give it everything I've got. And now, from Stanhope Academy, number 15, Talia Bentley. Talia's good. Poised to perfection. Stanhope's in the lead now. Alma, even if you knock down a rail, you can still beat her if you go fast enough. Just ride like you always do. Button and I are ready. Hey, Alma! Make your father proud. Our last rider of the day is from Horseland, number 22, Alma Rodriguez. around that course. Go, Alma! Oh! And the individual trophy goes to number 22, Alma Rodriguez of Horseland. All right! So real Alma is back! And she's a real champion! For Horseland! <laughs> well, it's all over. Now that everyone's going back to being themselves again, it's really boring. Oh, but you have to be who you are. Everyone always says pigs like to get muddy, so I started obsessing about what I was missing. Finally, I tried rolling in the mud when no one was around. Really? What happened? I broke out in the hives and itched for days. That's why I'm always going to be myself, no matter what. Normally, I'd say that's a good thing, Tim. But in your case, I'm not so sure. Angora, as long as you're being your catty self, Horseland will never be 
boring. Goodbye for now, and remember, when in doubt, be true to yourself. <laughs>